What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I'm trying my best to get my rounds on all of this drama that is going on, but it is amongst everybody. <laughs> everybody on this side of the spectrum of drama is going through it between the baddies, Zeus, Ray J, Bluefist, Krishan, just everybody, bro. And I'm trying my best to get into it. I want to know what y'all want me to react to specifically, and please comment it. Jesus. All right. Also, we about to get into this and then we're about to get into something else. We're going to talk about this first. <clears throat> I know I spoke about Blueface unfollowing Krishan, but now he also unfollowed Bodine. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if later on today he following Jaden. <laughs> we all know this game, don't we? This game doesn't really change. Blueface's game does not change. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't understand why we keep going through the same thing. I mean, even in jail, even with the girl paying your bills, not paying your bills, sucking you up, not sucking you up. It's just always a problem. So that's that on that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. Now, this is what I want to get into. The baddies. Now, for those that are not watching the baddies, I don't know why. But y'all better get into the baddies and you better get into it ASAP. I'm talking to the people that like a little bit of drama every once in a while in their day. Now, for those that don't and want to see informational things and things like that, go to YouTube. Go to informational things. Look that up and something will pop up. That is not always on this docket for today. Now, for, I need all of y'all to tap into my Patreon. Link is down in the description. I reacted to baddies and Natalie whooped the hell out of Tommy's ass. Do you hear me? Now, I knew Natalie had them hands sometime. Depending on who she fighting, she got them hands. When it comes to Tommy, she always win, right? But she was doing a different type of ass whooping last night on this on this hit baddest platform, okay? Now, first of all, I want to talk about her and I want to talk about Gretch. We're going to get into Gretch later. But it's a couple things that Natalie posted yesterday, um, and I have to find it. Give me one second, because Natalie and Tommy is posting stuff about each other. And girl, it just don't get old. It just, I just don't understand. Um, I'm going to have to find it. In the meantime, in between time, I want to talk about it. So Natalie and Tommy going head up yesterday, right? on the baddies and they going back and forth, going back and forth. But girl, Natalie whooped that ass. Where did it I'm about to let y'all listen to what Tommy said, but Natalie had her in a car <laughs> in a chokehold uppercutting her life away. Okay. I've never seen something so raw in a street fight. Tommy is insisting that her arms were being held and things like that. But these are some of the things she had to the say. The day is delusional. That should be the word. Delusional. Out this this shit where a hoe is on the ground eating sand in the mud. Say, get her to the hoe on the ground eating sand. Delusional. Okay. The word of the day is delusional. I don't know how the word of the day <coughs> would be delusional. And Tommy was genuinely, um, physically, uh, and indubitably getting her ass beat. Okay. I don't know how that became a delusional thing. It's given that Tommy is being delusional right now. Um, because baby, she was getting her ass beat. All right, so here's the next thing I want to get into. Bluefus's brother, because I've been looking in the comments, and y'all like, um, don't play about mental health and um, something about L.A. being gangster. I know L.A. is gangster. That's why I am a pedestrian. I would never claim to be nothing else. I am a pedestrian. I like to walk across the street and pray that I can make it across because of the cars, not because of a nigga trying to gun me down because of my colors. Okay. So I just want to put that out there. I don't play about mental health and I don't play about gangster because the gangster ain't my thing. I don't think 
that anything is wrong with him outside of maybe some PTSD. But when he came on this platform was like, look at me, do I look slow? Don't, don't, I don't, I seem like I know what the hell is going on. And quite frankly, he does, but he also may be trolling. I really can't tell. Can y'all please repost this? If you know anybody that just to try to get my brother fair treatment, um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just try to get him fair treatment. I could say both our lives, you know what I'm saying? Just if everybody could repost this, just to try to get my brother, you know, Jonathan or y'all call him blue face, just try to get him fair treatment. You know what I'm saying? And just pray that he be okay. And um, like I said, just pray. And, you know, if anybody could like just just try to get him fair treatment where, you know, where wherever he is, just to try to get him fair treatment. You know what I'm saying? He, he's going through a lot in there. And just to try to get him fair treatment, you know, please, you know, all his fans, anybody that, you know, just just if you could do anything, do something. If you could just pray, just pray for him. To so. What keeps behooving me is him saying something about basically everybody else helping him, but potentially him. I know he went to prison for a long time. I guess after you go to prison, you can't go see your, you know, whoever's in prison. I don't know how that works. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm a pedestrian. I have no idea how that works. But I just feel as though if you miss your brother that much or whatever, you at least write him. Show you writing him something. I just think that Dre is full of shit is what I think and get fair treatment and you know just for him to be okay please <sighs> y'all make sure y'all tap into the baddies and watch that ass whooping um it is in my description down in the um well it is down in my description but Natalie gave that girl a different type of ass whooping that I just can't explain oh Gretch let's get into Gretch Gretch honey she literally thinks that she isn't saying something bad when she says the N-word because she feels as though she could say the N-word because she is Puerto Rican, right? But what she isn't realizing is how she's saying it. You're saying it in an aggressive tone. You're saying it in a way that sounds like the ER is at the end. You are saying it in a way that is just completely unacceptable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To the black community. So um, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I want y'all to hear how she said the N word again, right after she was apologizing again for offending them again. Okay. Um, And that's, that's where I, mean, I am right now. Okay, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Uh, let me know what else y'all want me to react to, please. If you want me to react to the neighborhood talk, whole lineup, say that. If you want me to react to uh, Hollywood Unlocked, whole lineup, say that. Say something. Okay, bye.